What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Game Day with Trey. This is your host, Trey. And let's get into some NBA breaking news that I spoke about uh, earlier today. What's going on out here with Giannis? Okay, the, Giannis is questioning his future in Milwaukee right now. So if anybody who's unfamiliar with it, I'll give you a quick breakdown. All right, Giannis is in the third season of his five-year, $228 million Supermax extension in this 2023-2024 season. All right, his contract includes a player option after the 2024-2025 season, which means after the 24-25 season, which means uh, in a year, he can do a player option and opt out. All right, now Giannis has been outspoken this offseason. He's been kind of kind of non Giannis, to be honest with you. Like it, but it's cool. I'm happy to see what Giannis has been doing and how he's been speaking out. Because at the end of the day, man, this is your livelihood, and these is if you want to be a legend, then you have to put the pressure on ownership the same way that the pressure is on you, and you have to expect from everyone else exactly what you what what you expect from yourself. Like, uh, I know that a lot of times in life and a lot of positions that would be setting yourself up for failure, but Giannis is in a position of power right now. So he can make these kind of commands and demands. And when Giannis says that he's not committing until he sees that everybody else is on the same page and putting in the same amount of time and effort to get to championships and be successful, that says a lot. That says a lot, y'all, okay? And it says so much that people are starting to think whether or not if Giannis is going to follow in the footsteps of Kareem. Because right now, you're talking about somebody who, <laughs> oh, man, he, he brought he, he brought a championship to the city of Milwaukee, his first one in 50 years. Last person to bring a championship to the city of Milwaukee was Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And then Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Famously, uh, got traded to the L.A. Lakers. So let's fast forward to right now with Giannis unhappy about what's going on in Milwaukee. Yeah, they brought back uh, his center and they brought back Middleton. And, you know, they they got their, uh, their guard as well, their point guard still there. But at the end of the day, what are we doing to get better? Because everybody's getting older. Everybody that is else that was previously just mentioned, whether you're talking about the center that they just brought back, you're talking about Middleton, who missed so many games, it's not even funny last season, or the point guard who's always contemplating retirement. Are, are you really getting better or are you just standing pat? And if you're just standing pat, then you are not trying to be successful in the NBA today, especially in the East. All right, we're, we're talking about an arms race. What, look at what's going on with Boston and how Boston has been uh, trying to improve their roster, bringing in Porzingis, uh, getting rid of Smart, which was a great idea. Uh, look around, man. Everybody's trying to get better. And if you're not trying to get better, you're getting worse. So uh, that's my question to y'all. But also... Are the Bucks even doing enough to keep Giannis around? Like I said before, they've got uh, they haven't made any major moves, so should they even keep him? Should they actually think about trading Giannis? Which would lead to him doing exactly what we just said, which is following in the footsteps of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Now, there's two teams that's looking at him, and those are the L.A. Lakers and the New York Knicks. Either way, it would be a great story. Now, if we're talking about legacy, well, if we're talking about legacy, then he wants to go to L.A. Uh, for championships. But if your legacy is more built on doing, again, what you just did in Milwaukee, which would be great, could he bring the Knicks a championship. Now the Knicks got a lot to give away. They got draft picks. They got multiple young players. They they have a lot of assets that they could trade for Giannis. And the Lakers have some assets too. We we have AD. 
and we could definitely trade EKG. That would, I think that would be a great move to trade EKG for Giannis. Yes, that's not even a question. If anyone's questioning that, let me know in the comments. You probably got something wrong with you. You might need to go see a doctor. Uh, maybe go get a CAT scan because uh, you done bumped your head. You lost your mind if you don't think that that's a great trade or even great thought. Giannis, EKG. Put it on the scale. Yeah, not even a question. You don't even have to think twice about that. All right? But, yeah, I just wanted to rap with y'all about that for a second, man. Because at the end of the day, I'm not I'm not sure that Giannis is going to end up staying in Milwaukee. But, I don't know. Only time will tell, man. Only time will tell. Y'all let me know in the comments. I'm going to get back at y'all. Peace.